so the upside for the next one, the bucket scalability or bucket index scalability, I guess, is mm -hmm. that it's a holdover from the GH Summit. Um, so there's actually a pretty detailed pad if you look at the blueprint, as well as a, a decent detailed description. So maybe we could just hammer through some of his points and look at the uh, status, and then we can take it to the list after uh, after the summit when he's able to talk about it. Um, like the old thing, the pad, the old pad. Ah, the old pad. There, I'll put it in the RC channel. Well, if we can start with just a status. So, I mean, he has a he has a pull request open for this. Yeah, there is a cycle to review. Yeah, we've been through various uh, cycles of review. Uh, most of it is done, um, and most of it is ready. Uh, the thing, the main thing that's not ready is uh, yeah. Tying it up with uh, the multi-region, multi-zone stuff, um, uh, be because the the problem is that we have some logs with three sides within the bucket index, and we need to make sure that uh, everything works correctly. Uh, and there, maybe just using different kind of markers to to for the for the multi-region, for, for the when, when we have sharded bucket index, uh, that and that that's basically what we do internally. Um, or, or we have markers that point at just m multiple bucket entries, so that we know it when we list a bucket at what point we are at. Um, So yeah, so so the 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 feature is is going along pretty nicely. We tried to, uh, or Guang was working on it. We were trying to make it everything abstracted nicely so that we don't try the same thing over and over and over. Um, mm -hmm. Because we were, it it was changing. The, the 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 current uh, all bucket access stuff is synchronous synchronous uh, radar operations uh, or most of it and now everything needed to change because when you when you do operations on concurrently on multiple uh, bucket index, uh, objects you uh, yeah. you you know we, you wanna you don't wanna do it synchronous and on everyone you need to have a sliding window and, and so, so it kind of okay. added complexity but but I think I think that's that working uh, okay now so at, I'm just looking at the old etherpad um, we talked about adding um, two different list commands so you can do a regular traditional list that'll still return the same ordered results and would sort of read from all shards in parallel and aggregate the results of the client side and then also adding a, a new list unordered command that would sort of mm. you know walk yeah, well, through shards individually yeah we that wasn't implemented yet um that's not implemented yet okay yeah um it should be trivial to add though but uh yeah. Okay, some people won't care, I guess. <laughs> right. But that position, I guess, the position identifier needed to be a, a tuple instead of a just a key name. Yeah. Object the the S three API at least provides you with a with an entry that says what the next marker is. Mm -hmm. So you can use that. I'm not sure that most clients will know will even look at that entry. So it might be. Um, 
it might be a problem for for these clients, but but it's gonna be a different command. So uh, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I remember there was one question that I think I think maybe you were on vacation when we did this last time. Um, there was one yep. question about the um, atomicity of the multi-part upload. Um, how is that? Well, if, the, if, 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 if a a I don't think so because you need in a multi-part upload you need all the entries to be on the same bucket chart, so you're gonna okay. hash by, hash by the the target entry. I see. Okay, so it all end up in the same place and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, the, there the... is no. Okay. Right. Be, because uh, unless we want to change it dr drastically uh, the way it works now, but I, I don't see why not get yeah. it on the same shot anyway. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a better bet. Um, okay. Okay. Has do you know if um, Guang has looked at all at doing the the blind buckets? I know they had a hack to do this earlier, but that's not part uh, of the current. current not that I am aware of, and I, I didn't know that he he was involved with that specifically. Uh, but, Maybe not him, but yeah, yeah, okay. um, yeah. Blind buckets is kind of like the silver bullet of performance I'm not sure of, of yeah. right performance at least. Uh, yeah. The the problem with blind buckets is that you kind of uh, dropping all a lot. Uh, you're not mm -hmm. going to have uh, multi region, multi zone. Uh, yeah. You're not going to have object versioning. Yeah. Right. I guess you could have an alternate version of object versioning that only uses the OLH. Well, you maybe. you can have uh, an S3 like a uh, Swift like object versioning maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's not worry about that then. Yeah. Okay. Is this um is this going to conflict horribly with the the object versioning branch that you have going? Probably. Um, well, in 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 terms of the object engineering branch that I had, uh, I kind of did some a, a few major cleanups. Um, so my changes go all all you know all around. All over the tree. Yeah. All all over the place, and so there are gonna be lots of conflicts. But I don't think there's anything specific. Be you know. Yeah. Um, because the we we didn't really touch the same areas. Um, so other than syntactic uh, changes here and there, and I, I I'm not I'm not afraid to merge. I <laughs> well yeah. I'm saying it before <laughs> I try to do it, but uh, uh, I I don't think there's gonna be um, a major issue. issue. Okay. Okay. And, the, and the, we're currently just waiting for him to come back with the, is he going to work on the Redis Gateway agent bits or? Uh, or we're going to help him. Um, we're going to help okay. him. All right. So hopefully some of the new folks we have joining next week. Uh, week, after, week after next, some of them will, somebody will be working on the agent again. Yep. That will help. Yeah, okay. that that be nice. That would be nice to have someone um, helping yeah. in that area. Uh, there is some pending uh, code that I still need to review, though, uh, and we need to have some discussion uh, about uh, what the next steps is gonna be. But um, in testing, it's gonna require some some testing. Uh, and and then we we need to think whether that, that's only phase one and phase one is basically you take a bucket and say uh, that this bucket is gonna be you know um, ha, has have this many shards but you do it before the bucket uh, had any data in it 
um, or you do it, you know. Right. Uh, but what to do with uh, buckets that already exist and you want to shard them. Um, th there there can be different approaches. One would be like quiesce all the rights to, to that bucket uh, and convert it to, to a new sharded one, which should be, I guess, should work somehow. Like, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Probably not the most elegant solution, but but sh sh should be pretty easy to wear up. Yeah. Except for quiescing rights, which is not something that we we really do because. But but. Yeah. Let's let's say. Well, the write always does a um like a prepare type operation on the index right. as the first step, right? So that that code would fail and block or whatever until it. Yeah, we, we we can do that. Uh, for how long yeah. though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can. How, yeah, how big it got before you <laughs> before you start. Where's the? It's is there's the bucket object that's in the metadata pool that specifies how it's sharded. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We the 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 bucket object. Uh, we had Same a new field to it. It's the same one that has the ACL on it that's in the cache on the gateways. Is it the one that has the ACL? I'm I'm not, I'm not 100. No, there are, we have two different. One is a bucket entry point and one is an actual bucket instance. Yeah, I, th I think that bucket instance, yeah, the one that has the ACL. Okay, but it but it, it'll get cached by the gateways so that they'll remember what the sharding yeah. or how bucket is. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's cached. And and so nowadays, we'll a, we, right? There'll we, be a notify not, message that goes around. Every metadata data change, there's a notify message that goes around. Okay. Okay. Um, unless you turned off the cache, the cache. But uh, no, nowadays, we we cache it. We have a double. Double layer cache, uh, double. Ca we we actually cache the bucket info. Um, buffer a, a, and decoded. Yeah, and uh, a decoded buff bucket info uh, um, to save the encoding decoding that happens used to happen every um, operation. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that would basically do it. So I, I don't know if there is any need to do something more com more complicated than um, like detect whether a bucket has uh, lots of objects inside. Whether we need to do Auto, it automatically. Like, yeah, I think that would be that would be the end goal. <laughs> that would be phase phase three, maybe. Phase three. Um, yeah. Phase two would be online resharding, and then it would be automatic. Okay. We have ways to go. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, I don't think we have a whole lot more to talk about here without Guang. Maybe we should take a take a break, Patrick, mm -hmm. until. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan.